happy that you're able to join us right here on the No Zone. I am Janet. I am Charlie. And I am His Royal Highness, Marara the Great Ra. Ra. Marara the Great. Okay, okay. Well, Marara the Great and everyone watching us at home, we have a lot of fun lined up right here today. And you know that calls for a lot of fun, learning, and what else? Laughter. Laughter. There you go, Charlie. But right now, why don't we all go into the chill out zone and meet up with our friends for the day? Come on. Where, where, where are you going? Where? The chill out zone. Where? King uh, Rar. You have to wait for your king. Where are my royal subjects? Ha! Huh. Hello, everyone. Hello. Now, why don't we start today's fun by saying a big hello to everyone who's watching us at home. Hello. We are glad to meet you and that you came to help us with today's holiday show. Uh, Marara, is there a particular reason why you are wearing that crown? What? Oh. Oh, the crown, yeah. It's because I have to remind some animals who the king of the jungle is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, were you threatened by another animal or you know what happened? Well, listen, Janet. To be honest, no animal scares me. I am the king of the jungle. Ooh, okay, okay. Now, actually, speaking of which, why don't we ask the question of the day? Now, the question of the day is, what is your favorite animal? I have to think about that. Wait. Ah, I know. My favorite animal is man. And Charlie, you are my best friend. You, Charlie. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. But uh, I always thought that uh, man wasn't really an animal. More of, you know, I, I don't think of myself as an animal. I'm more of a human being being really but Charlie think about it you eat too much meat so you have some um, animalistic tendencies oh I think you just called me an animal yeah. uh, <clears throat> all right uh, why don't we first of all hear from our studio guests and we are going to start with Irene which is your favorite animal tiger tiger mmm hint hint ma what? <laughs> okay, let's just, let's ah. just move on. What about you in your cubby? Cat. Cat. Oh. Ah. Nice. Ah. Cuddly, cuddly. I like cats. All right. What about you, Angeshi? What is your favorite animal? Leopard. Oh. They're stealthy. They're quick. Mm -hmm. And they are anything but lions. Yes. <laughs> and finally, Alma, what's your favorite animal? Dog. I like that. Simple, straight to the point. Man's best friend. Man's best friend. Uh, yes, Man? Man? I, I thought, Charlie? I... Well, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Clearly, most of you are very fond of wild animals. And I think it's time for us to go and check out some more of them. Yes, it's time for Wild Zone. Marara, scream. Meet Charlie, who's good at getting ants out of a hole. He's company for him, Zay, now that much faster and stronger. Carl took on Charlie as an emergency whilst a local sanctuary was being completed. Charlie shows how powerful a big chimp can be. Ooh. God, I wouldn't want to be in there now. Clever, too. Getting honey out on sticks, as wild chimps do with termites at their nests. Now meet Judy, another chimp that Carl rescued, making a group of three in Mzee's enclosure. Ooh. 
more natural behavior, nest making with a blanket. Chimps can recognize each other, and we assume themselves. When the sanctuary was ready, Charlie and Judy were taken there, leaving Umze on his own again around the house. Elephants at the bottom of the garden. With Catherine as his mother and Carl as his father, Mze's repertoire steadily increases. Wash your hair. Wash your hair. Wash it. Sit over here. Sit over here. Wash it. He <laughs> doesn't know. Wash your hair. <laughs> Chimps use sticks to pull out termites. That's tool using in the wild. In the bedroom by the TV, hammers and pliers and nails fascinate Mze. He's good with children. There seems to be a natural bond. And he's good with Catherine so far. Oh, that was so interesting. Did you all enjoy it? Yes! And I saw many animals that bow down to me as king. Oh, all hail. Good morning, Simba King Marara person. Well, arise, my noble subject. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> All right, you know what? Right now, it's time for us to get into our thrilling holiday game. Yes, we are going hunting. It's time for the word hunt. Yay! Fantastic. Hello and welcome to our brand new exciting word game, The Word Hunt. Now, here is how it works. The first player will spin the wheel. And a type of word will be selected. Well, you could land on either a noun, which is the name of an object, a person, or a place. Or you could land on a verb, which is a doing or action word. Or you could land on adjective, which is a word that is used to describe something. Now, remember these descriptions because they're going to be very important as we play this game. That's right. After your type of word has been selected, you have to make your way to the word hunt. Now, word team, it's not easy because you have to make sure you make your way through all these obstacles. That is right. Now, once you have spun the wheel and selected the word category, you will go through the tunnel, past the tiny net and come out on this end right here. Then you must look for the word that matches the category you selected on the drum. Once you find that word, you will take that word off the drum, go under the net and take the word to Janet. Mm-hmm. Now after your turn, you have to go back to the word team, tag the next team member so they can get ready to spin the wheel. Now, you have to get this course done before the buzzer sounds like this. But. If any of you failed to complete the course before the buzzer sounds, then you would have lost. And if any of you picks a word that does not match the category that you had selected, then your team will have lost. But on a brighter side, if you manage to find the words and complete the course before the buzzer sounds, you will win this fantastic dictionary for your school. Are the rules clear? Yes! Right, excellent. For you watching us at home, make sure that you play along and see if you can match up to our prowess when it comes to our word team. Now, how about we stop wasting any more time and get our first contestant, Irene, to go and spin the wheel? So, Irene steps up and spins the wheel and selects the category of... That's a very strong spin. 
and we land on a bird. Adjective. Adjective. Come on, Ari, come on. Ari, 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 all right, Marara, what is an adjective? An adjective is a word that is used to describe something. Bad for describe the word. Go, 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 an adjective again! Again, what is an adjective? An adjective is a describing word. A describing word. And right. Irene has already done adjective and she picked great, purple. Great. Okay. There you go! Come on, come on, come on! Come on. Come on. Right now it's Miruri. And Miruri spins that wheel nice. that's a very strong spin that selects the category of a noun, verb, adjective, noun, verb, adjective, noun, no. It's a verb. verb. What's a verb? Oh, go, go, go. Come on, Miruri, go. Miruri, 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 what is a verb? A verb is a doing word or an action word. An action okay. word. What have you got? Okay. Hey, there you go, 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 go! Quickly, 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 quickly! Okay, there you are. Tag the last team member. All right. Here we right. go. And spin the wheel. Spins the wheel and selects the category of. Let's see. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. It selects a noun. Come on, one day. Come on, one day. One day. One day. What is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, object, or a place. A person, an object, or a place. She's got her hands on sharp okay. enough. You've got to go. Oh no. Come on. Before the buzzer. Before the buzzer sounds. Before the buzzer sounds. Oh, oh there goes the buzzer. Well done, Faith Wangeshi. Although you dropped it a bit there, but you managed to sneak it in. Let's get to solving this uh, word types. First person to spin the wheel was Irene. Irene, you landed on adjective. Now you came back with purple. Is that correct? Well, purple is a color, that I can tell you for sure. That's right. Uh, but uh, you use it in sentences to say like, uh, I have a purple shirt. Mm -hmm. So you're describing something. That means purple <laughs> is an adjective. <laughs> I'm very excited, Irene there. Let's move on to the next person to spin the wheel. That was Kiragu. You also landed on adjective. You came back with brown. Pretty. We can you jump know, straight into it. Brown it. is an, an adjective. adjective. Yay! <laughs> All right, third person up was Muiruri. You landed on verb. You came back with waking. Well, hmm. ah. it's an action, isn't it? It is an action. It's a word. Yeah. So I would say that waking is a verb! Yay! Last person in there was Wangeshi. You landed on noun. Now you came back with the sharpener. Hmm. Is she correct? Marara, well, well, you still have my sharpener? Uh, yeah, I have it, but I think I misplaced it. Oh, wait a minute. But that means that a sharpener is an object. That's right. That means that sharpener is a noun! Yay! All right, well done, my team, for getting everything correct. Let's clap for them again. Oh, yes. Now, we all know what that means. It means that since they have the four words correctly placed, this dictionary, yes, this one, no longer belongs with us in the no zone. So, team captain, Irene, step forward. Congratulations to you and your word team. You did very well. Here's your dictionary. Show everyone who's watching at home a round of applause. Now, we cannot forget that this is the no zone, meaning that the fun doesn't stop. So let's go and catch up with Maspidi on out there. I have traveled all the way to a very special place to me. The new Isili Primary School. 
They have a big surprise for us. Come on, come with us. My friend Wangare tells me that Naini Hu, a project celebrating the different zones of the Nairobi area, is here today. Come on, let's go and celebrate. But first, let's park this car. Oh, <laughs> this bicycle of mine here, under this tree shade. What's the action today? Naini Hu is here today to motivate children from Isili area to take care of the environment. Isli is an area in east side of Nairobi. It is home to different people from different communities. It is a very busy business area that provides work opportunities for so many people in shopping malls, hotels and so on. But over the years, the environment's condition has gone down. Roads becoming unpassable and dusty. Lots of trees are cut down and so a lot needs to be done here. What do we have here? Tree seedlings? Check. Jambes? Check. Water? Check. Smiles? Check! <laughs> Whoa. So, let's start by planting more trees. First, the ground breaking. Even though sometimes digging the hole can be very difficult for us, we can always ask an adult to help us. So what do trees need to live? Every tree seedling must have food, water and sunlight to grow. It's been a good activity with Naini Hu, New Isili Primary School, and we all enjoyed making Isili a better place. It's obvious that everyone, including you, must take action in planting more trees and taking care of them. So, until next time, good people, bye! See you! As the king of the jungle, I am going to command my speedy to take me with him next time. Hmm. Okay, you know, my... Okay, Mr. King of the jungle, maybe you should ask him politely, because you see, you're only the king of that particular jungle where you live. Hmm. What, what, Charlie? Yeah? But you see, I have, I have to tell you this. Uh -huh. Lions are stronger than man. <laughs> yes, yes, that we you know, but really, at the end of it, man is smarter than any lion. Well, if you were smarter than any lion, <sighs> then how comes we get to how? See? Uh, oh, is that oh, smart? Wait, is that is smart? That, so, wait, wait, so you can scare me. Oh, well, so what? So, what all right, boys. Why ex exactly why are we here? You know what? We have a show to do, so I say smile because we have to get to a game. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Hey, Mara, look, what's that over there? Where? Where? Number pool game. Oh! Ha! <laughs> Told you. Smarter, smarter. You call that smarter? smarter. You call that smarter. smarter? You call that smarter? <laughs> Yay! Whoa!
Welcome, 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 welcome. It's time to dive into the number pool and have fun with numbers. Yes, it's diving time team and today we are going to be dealing with subtraction. So the question is team, are you ready? Yes! So what you have to do is roll the dice. Now once you roll the dice, you have to subtract the smaller number from the larger number. Now for this example, that would be 8 minus 5, which is 3. That's right. Then run to the number pool and find the answer hidden amongst the balls and give that to Janet. Now after your turn, you have to go back to the number team, tag the next team member so that they can get ready to roll the dice. Now you only have 30 seconds to roll the dice. Answer the question. Find the answer in the number pit. Take the answer to Janet and then tag the next team member like this. That's right, Charlie. Now, if you get all the subtractions correct, then you can take away these fabulous books back to your school. And Marara, hey, not forgetting that, he still has some very special prizes for each one of you. Now, when you hear this sound, you will know that time is up. And hey, we can't forget about you. Just remember to play along with our number team and see if you can keep up. All right, now, our studio guests, we only have one more question. Are you ready? Yes! All right, so let's roll the dice. Alma, you're up first. There you go. Roll the dice. And she rolls the dice, and we have a 10 and a 5. So what is 10 minus 5? 5. Find a 5. Come find on, come five, on. 5, find 5 in there. This one is your big one. Dig in, dig in. Grab a 10 of you. There's going to be a 5 in there. It's going to be a big one. Look at how they go. Tag the next team Tag the next team member. Come on, come on. Come easy. There you go. All right. Let's tag. Come on, come on. Draft it faster. Rolls. Ah, uh, we have a seven and a three. What is seven minus three? Four. four. Find a four. Okay, come, on, find come on, four. come on. Right there, right there. Oh, yeah, jump, jump in. in. Good one. Take it to Janet. Take it to Janet. Take it to Janet. Another team member. <laughs> All right, keep your tour. There you go. Keep your tour. Oh. Rolls the dice. And we have. That is a nine and a five. What's nine minus five? Four. Find a four. Come oh, on, five, find a four. four. Jump in there. Find four, find four. 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 Dig in, dig in. Look for it. There's got to be a four in there. Oh, there you go. All right, Nyokabi, you're the last one up. Come on. And she rolls. Ah, we have a seven and a two. What is seven minus two? Five. Find a five. Find five. Find a 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 five. Find five, 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 five. Look for it. Look for it. Five in there. It's in there. there. It's there. It's in there. It's there. Take it, take it, Janet. Back on light. Oh, oh. Yeah. lucky one, your copy. There goes the buzzer. All right, now Alma, you were the first person to roll the dice. You landed on ten and five. Ten subtract five is what? Five. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. What's up with the team? Ten subtract five is what? You gotta help her. Five. All right, let's. What, Mara? You have something to say? It's five. You gotta be faster than that. Let's see if that's what Alma came back with. Hmm. Drum roll. It is. Oh, well done, Alma. Second person up was Wamiti. You landed on seven and three. Seven subtract three equals what? Four. What's wrong with the number team? Seven subtract three equals what? Four. Wamiti, did you give me a four? Are you sure? Yes. But oh, let's no. find out let's if it is truly a four. Yeah. And it is a okay, <laughs> Good one. Third person up was keep your tour. You landed on nine and five. Nine subtract five equals what? Four. You, we have to help each other. Nine subtract five equals what? Four. I think we're out of fours. I, did you come back with a four? Yes. yes. No, well, no, no, let's, no, no, let's no. Find out we only we already have a four. Are you sure? Yes. 
Do you think okay. there's a power for in there? Okay, you know, let's just check. Okay. I told you. And oh. we, we need one for oh, Haya. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 It's another four. Last person up was Nyokabi. You landed on seven. And two, seven subtract. Two equals what, Nyokabi? Five. Five. Seven subtract two equals what? Five. <sighs> What's, did you, did you give me a five? Yeah. Yeah? So today we, we looks like we're dealing five. with fives and we fours. Five. Boys! We what? Oh! <laughs> well done, number team for getting all the four sums correct. Let's clap for them. Now, having done so well, that means that our team has won, which means team captain Alma, step on up. Congratulations to you and your team. You did very well. Here are the books you'll be taking back to your school. Show everyone at home a round of applause for our number team. And that is not all for doing so well. You each get a storybook from me. So come get your storybooks. Come, come, come. Wow. Ooh, firm handshake from oh, yeah. Alma. Yeah. Lots of respect, <laughs> strong handshake, just the way we like them. Yes, but you know what? We have to keep things moving. Oh yes, it's time for us to catch up with uh, one of our friends. Who is a, which, which one of our friends uh, again? Come on. <laughs> My girlfriend, our girl, Dunia, it's our world. everybody, welcome to our world. I am Dunia and today we are discovering amazing facts about the largest bird in the world. Do you know what that is? It's the ostrich. The ostrich is the world's largest bird, but it cannot fly. They can survive in very dry areas of Africa and get most of their water from the plants they eat. Although they cannot fly, ostriches are very strong runners. They can run up to 70 kilometers an hour, and that's faster than a lion. And they can run long distances. Their legs are the most powerful weapon. One kick from an ostrich can kill a human or even a lion. You can tell the difference between a male and female ostrich by looking at its feathers. Do you know which is which? The black and white one is male and the grey one is female. Ostriches live in small groups of about 12 birds or less. These groups are called herds. Most herds have two leaders, a male and a female. A female ostrich is called a hen. When the male ostrich warns its herd of danger, it makes a call that sounds like a lion's roar. The female ostrich can lay between 2 and 12 eggs. They have creamy white thick shells. All the females place their eggs into one nest. These nests can sometimes have 30 to 40 eggs in them. The leader hen sits on the nest in the day. Its browny gray feathers blend into the daytime colors so predators cannot see her. The leader male takes his turn at night because his black feathers blend into the darkness. The sad fact is, only 10% of the eggs will survive to be chicks, and that means 1 out of 10, and sometimes none survive at all. So every ostrich born is a miracle. You see, the eggs are a very popular meal for predators such as a mongoose or a warthog. Just one egg can provide a meal to last all week. These are no ordinary eggs. In fact, they are the biggest eggs in the world. 
each one weighs about the same as two dozen chicken eggs. So that is 24 chicken eggs. Here are some interesting facts. Ostriches have the biggest eyes of any land animal in the world, almost five centimeters across. When ostriches sense danger, they sometimes lie low and press their long necks to the ground in an attempt to become less visible. Ostriches love to eat. They eat plants, roots, and seeds, but will also eat insects, lizards, or other creatures available. They are not too fussy. Ostriches have long necks. Here, can you see food traveling down its neck? These extraordinary birds live 30 to 40 years, and some have been known to live to 50. What I find most interesting about ostriches is their tummies. Did you know that they swallow stones and sand on purpose? These travel down their necks into their tummies where they use to blend and grind up their food. Wow, I am glad we don't have to do that. Sadly, that's all we have time for today, but I will catch you next week for more wonders about our world. See ya! That was really exciting. Did you all enjoy that? Yeah, I did. You know what I think? Uh, it's time to take a commercial break because I do not want to see some people. Surely, Mara, you can't be mad at Charlie for speaking his mind. I mean, you also offended him. What? How? By saying the truth? That lions are stronger than man? Fine, lions are stronger than man, but man is smarter than a lion any day. Yeah, how about, how, wait, Mara, Mara, hold up. How about you guys just, you know, come together and we move on? Well, how about we fight and see who is stronger? Fight? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 there's no point of getting into a physical altercation. How about we do a spelling test and we see who's best, yeah? Are you guys come serious? On. Let's wait, spell. Charlie. Let's spell off. Charlie, Let's spell off. What, what, Mara, you... you guys know you're actually setting a bad example. Yeah? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Charlie. I, I wouldn't want to fight you. You're my good friend. Ah, come on. I'm sorry <laughs> too, fist bump, man. All right, now, as they make up, let's go on a short break, but do not go away because we'll be back in a bit right here on The No Zone. Welcome back to the No Zone. Now, today we are finding out what is your favorite animal. So we'll start with our studio guests. Wamiti, tell us, what is your favorite animal? A lion. Ooh, Ooh. That's one for you, man. That's one for you. <laughs> what about you, Kiragu? What's your favorite animal? A cheetah. Hey. A cheetah. Ooh, okay, let's hear from Kipiator. What about you? A monkey. Monkey, very cheeky, very cheeky. Now, what about you, Muiruri? Buffalo. Ooh. Big, strong. Whoa. I like that. A strength. All right, wait, what about you, Charlie? What's your favorite animal? Well, you know what? I'm just going to give it to him because I know he wants to hear it. <laughs> so, say it. Say it. Say it, Charlie. Say it. My favorite animal is a lion. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Was that too painful, Charlie? Was it? Fine. It's a lion. There yeah. you go. There. <laughs> yes, my favorite animal is a lion. Okay. Are you happy now? Yes. Great. <laughs> and I, th I think we should go shopping. Oh, yes. We should go shopping. <laughs> I think it's time for... Welcome to Marara's shopping list. Now, I've been given a list by my mom. 
but I am not sure if I have the right amount of things. Come on, Mara, you know we are going to help you. Of course we're going to help you, because even the king of the jungle needs a little human help. Now here is how this goes. Mara's shopping list has one, two, three, four items on it. Now you will help Marara by getting more items from the market and then putting them into Marara's basket. Now after your turn, you have to go back to the number team, tag the next team member like this, thank you, so that they can go up to the market and help you get the next item. Now remember, you have to make sure you do this before the market closes. That's right, Janet. Now when you help me get my shopping list correct, you do not go home empty-handed. You get to take away these fabulous books back to your school. Yes, you definitely do. And not forgetting that Mara still has some very special prizes for each one of you. Now, the question is, number team, are you ready? Yes! Ooh, I know that sound. It means that the market is about to close. Team leader, go. All right, the first item on the list is 12 matchboxes. How many matchboxes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many more do I need to make? Twelve. Three. Three go. Right, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Irene, first go tag the next team member. Next team member. The second item on the list is 11 candles. How many candles do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many more do I need to make? Eleven. Five. 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 Come on, come on. There you are, there you are. Put them there. Put them there. Remember, put them All right, the third item on the list is five light bulbs. How many light bulbs do I have? One. How many more do I need to make? Five. Four. Four. Go to the market. That's it. One, one, two, item on the list is eight batteries. How many batteries do I have? One, two, three. How many more do I need to make? Eight. Five. Five. Right, five, 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 our team did very well and they were very fast off the block, but let's find out if they had enough to solve all the sums correctly. Now the first item on the list, 12 matchboxes. On his own, Marara only managed to get 9. How many would you have to add for him to make 12? 3. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, Marara, how many matchboxes did the team bring you? Well, the team brought, let's see, 1, 2, Oh, they're right. Three matchboxes. That is absolutely correct. Well done, team. As you can see, nine plus three is equals to 12. An excellent start. Now, the second item on the list, 11 candles. Now, on his own, Marara only managed to get six. So how many would you have to add for him to have 11? Five. Five. Um, Marara, how many candles did the team bring you? Well, I can count one, two, three, four, oh, 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 five! Well done, team! Congratulations, that is absolutely correct. Six plus five is equal to 11 candles. Now, the third item, five light bulbs. Now, on his own, Marara only managed to pick up one. So how many would you have to add for him to have five? Four! Are you sure about that? Yes! Hey, those are some very strong lungs over there. Now, Marara, how many light bulbs did the team bring you? Well, is it true that light bulbs give you great ideas? Well, but let's find out. One, two, three, four light bulbs! Well done, team! That is absolutely correct. One plus five is one plus four is equals to five light bulbs, which probably means that Marara is going to have a lot of good ideas tonight. Now, there's only one item left. Let's hope that you got this one right. Now, Marara needed to get eight batteries. On his own, 
Marara could only get three batteries. How many would you have to add for him to make eight? Five. Ooh, are you sure? Yes. Hey, Ooh. hey. <laughs> All right. Marara, how many batteries did the team bring you? Well, I, I don't know, but let's count together. Oh, one, two, three, four, five batteries! Well done, team! As you can see, it's a special number right there. So, three plus five is equals to eight. Those are four sums answered correctly. Congratulations to the team. Let's give them a round of applause. Very well done, number team. Now, team leader, Irene, please step forward. This is some math books for you to take back to your school for getting all the four sums, correct? Well done, number team, for helping me complete my shopping list. And for that, you each get a storybook. So come get your storybooks. Come, come, come. <laughs> oh, did you hear the way they were so excited? It's like, yes! <laughs> yes, I totally loved their confidence, oh, especially, yeah. But right now, it's time for us to go and uh, try and be creative. Yes, it's time for Creative Zone. Hi kids, welcome to Creative Zone. Today we are going to create some art. People have been painting for thousands of years, but they didn't have paper and crayon. They used to use the walls of caves and natural materials to produce art. Cave paintings were produced to tell stories, but also for religious and ceremonial purposes. Today, we're going to create our own cave painting. The walls of the caves were not smooth, but they were very rough. So for me, today I'm going to use my rocks, which are almost as rough as the caves, to produce some art. The artists did not draw lifelike images. The images were just representational. Like this, I'm going to use a chop to show you an example. Now I'm going to add some more color, so just the different shades to make the picture more interesting. Get some blue for my sky. Nice blue sky there. Some red. I'm going to put a sun, a red sun here. And make it reflect on my stick man. And there goes my cave painting. But I'm thinking I need to add a bit of darkness to bring out my main characters. And because we don't have a very dark chalk, I'm going to take some charcoal and work on my picture. Just highlight a bit. So, let us look at our nice painting. Cave paintings lasted for thousands of years. I wonder if ours is going to survive that long. Before we go, 
I have another example of how you can make a cave painting using manila paper. And this is just simple manila paper which I crumpled up and then used charcoal, chalk, some colored chalk to create a composition. See? Can you do it? So you take the manila paper like this and then you just crumple it up nice and firm and unfold it and you get a nice rough surface similar to a wall cave. So, why don't you go ahead and do some more paintings either on the rock or on the little paper using either chalk, charcoal, even some paint can work. And I hope you enjoy yourself. Until next time, bye bye. Now that's what we call being creative. Definitely. Now for you watching us at home, we hope that you enjoy all of the creative things you see on the No Zone and we hope that you get to try some of them out. But right now, it's time for us to get very creative with our words. That's right. Please join in at home and challenge yourself to find out how many words you can spell correctly. It's time for... Spell it. Animal, animal, chapter, building, narrow, building. respect, respect. respect. deep, vegetable, work, work, work. Welcome to Spell It. Now this is the place where we play with our words and our letters. Alma, Wamete, Kipiator, and Nyokabi. You are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's Nozon Spelling Champion. The winner of today's competition will win their school and Nozon Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. Now, each contestant has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes! Thank you. All of today's words will be coming from what topic of what, Mara? Travel! <laughs> All right, so let's get this show moving, shall we? Let's start with Alma. It's your turn now, so come on down and step in the spotlight. It is about travel. It's about travel. Travel, travel, travel. Alma, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Van. D-A-N. Boat. B-O-A-T. Fast. Repeat, fast. F-A-S-T. Drive. D-R-I-V-E. Slowly. Repeat, slowly. S-L-O-W. Right. Oh, well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well, Amit, it's your turn now, so come on down and step in the spotlight. It's about travel, 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 travel. Want me to your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Bus. B U S. Fuel. Repeat. Fuel. Fuel. Yes. F E F E W W A L E. Zebra. Z E B R A. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Keep your tour. It's your turn now, so come on down and step in the spotlight. It's about travel, 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 travel. <coughs> Keep your tour. Your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Car. C A R. Road. R O A D. Tour. Repeat. Tour. T O U R Police P O L P O L L I S E Traffic T T R A W F I C Signs Oh right well, done. well done And finally Nyokabi 
it's your turn now, so come on down and step in the spotlight. Travel, 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 it's all about travel. Nyokabi, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Ox. O-X. Trip. T-R-I-P. Fair. F-A-R-E. Lorry. L-O-R-R-Y. Lights. L-I-G-H-T. T-S Railway Repeat Railway R-A Well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done everyone! Charlie! Yes! Please reveal the results! Alright! Now everybody did very well but of course there can only be one winner. Now I'll let Janet say that but some brief corrections. I'll start with you. Alma. Alma, you ran out of time spelling the word slowly. That's S L O W L Y. Wamiti. You misspelled the word fuel. It should have been F U E L. Kipiator. You misspelled the word police. That's P O L I C E. And finally, Nyokabi. You ran out of time before you could finish spelling the word railway. That's R-A-I-L-W-A-Y. So Janet, who is our winner? Well, I have to admit it was a bit tough today, but the winner of today's no-zone spelling competition with five words spelled correctly is Nyokabi. Step forward, Nyokabi. Congratulations, you are today's No Zone Spelling Champion. Here is your dictionary. Now, show everyone who's watching at home a round of applause. <laughs> Very well done, Nyokabi. You can step back. And to all of you for spelling so many words correctly and trying too hard, you each get a storybook. So come get yours. Come, come, come. Wow, that was really good. The team did very well. Yes, they really struggled through the words. You know, it's never easy. Hey, it's when are we getting you under the spotlight? Well, no, 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 no. Maybe we're good time. to go. Let's <laughs> let's go and you know get to something else just as serious. Yes, it's time to find out how we can take care not just of our minds but of our bodies as well. It's time for Health Zone. Welcome to the Health Zone. I'm Nurse Christine and I'm here to help you stay fit and healthy. So, Nurse Christine, what are we going to be learning about today? Well, Charlie, today we're going to learn about healthy breakfasts. Oh, that sounds great. Now, I heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's true, Charlie. It's actually called breakfast because we are actually breaking a fast. That is not eating for the whole of the night. That's about eight hours. And that's why a person feels hungry when they wake up. Do you feel hungry when you wake up? Yes. yes. I do, I do, I know, I know. I also feel very hungry. So, I see a pretty serious thing here. So, what should we eat for breakfast? Well, the very first thing that we should have in the morning is a very good hydrating drink, and that is water. Because we haven't drunk anything throughout the night, and our bodies need fluid. So, what do you think we should drink in the morning? Milk. No, that's right. Hot chocolate. Well, that's right also. But before you have that, you should have water. And then you can have your hot milk and your chocolate. But remember, it's better not to put sugar and a lot of honey in your tea. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I know this one. I know this one. Um, too much sugar early in the morning is, is, uh, is bad for your body. That's right, Charlie. Okay. So now we've had our drink. What comes next? Next, we need to power our bodies, so we need a source of energy to give us energy throughout the morning. We need to recharge our body batteries. Okay, okay. So, what's good to recharge our body batteries? Let's have our friends here select for us what they think is healthy for breakfast. Let's start with you, Lynette. Milk. Mm -hmm. That's right. A fruit. Good. 
A peanut butter sandwich. That's very good. And let's Michael. Yogurt. Yes. Cereals. And a fruit. That's really great. Okay, well, that, that's actually very, very cool. You know, it looks very tasty, and I see fruits, different kinds of fruit. What kinds of food shouldn't we eat for breakfast? Michael, why don't you, what, what kind of food here shouldn't we eat for breakfast? Donuts. Okay, and Lynette? Oh, corn chips. That's right. And other things like mandazi, chapati, a lot of honey and sugar. Because these things contain a lot of sugar that give us a lot of calories that turn into fat and make us add weight. Well, no, 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 no. Okay, wait. Let's be reasonable about this. Um, <laughs> but, but, but mandazis and mahamdris and drona, they all look so good. I know, Charlie, but what I'm saying is that they're not good for your body. Ah, okay, so we shouldn't eat them for breakfast. You can, but very occasionally. What you should have is, like they said, a cereal mm -hmm. with milk and banana. Mm -hmm. Or you could have two slices of peanut spread sandwich mm -hmm. with milk and a fruit salad. Mm. That would be a very complete healthy breakfast. Okay. Hey, that's really, really cool. Thanks, Nurse Christine. You know what? I had breakfast before, but now I'm feeling a little hungry again. I'm going to go recharge my batteries. See you. Okay. Bye, Charlie. So, my friends, what have we learned today? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's right. And Michael? Cereals, dairy, and fruit are healthy breakfast foods. Well, and to you at home, remember, you can have a variety of foods, but not too much of it. And remember, you can also have a treat once in a while. That's all we have for today from the Health Zone. Bye! That was really useful advice. Did you all find it useful? Yes! Excellent. And uh, we are so glad that you were able to help us with today's show. We hope that you had fun. Did you all have fun? Yes! Excellent. Uh, well, we hope you at home also enjoyed our show. Wait, 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 wait. Are the performers coming up next? Yes, they are, Marara. It's time for us to step into the... Performance zone. But first up, let's say goodbye to everybody at home. Bye! Bye.